Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you're fine. I hope you're well. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's episode, uh, it's going to be a spend a day with me vlog. I'm spending the holiday at home. I have, I have a couple of things to be doing and uh, I want to bring you along. Don't forget to subscribe, like, to comment, and share out with friends and family. And yeah, let's just dive into the vlog right now. I already woke up at around 6 in the morning. And I did my meditation. I did my gratitude, you know, channeling and all that good stuff. There is a difference between gratitude channeling and gratitude channeling. So in the morning, most of the time I do channeling. Then in the evenings, most of the time I do my gratitude channeling. If that makes sense right now i want to just dive in like do my bed uh you know do a little bit of you know exercise or workout to just keep my body you know not in a very cringy kind of mode using the wide angle lens you might wonder what happened to tanya's camera and all that but i'm vlogging using the wide angle lens the wide angle lens also is on uh, the same mobile phone you just switch it it's just because most of the time i don't use it but anyway the first thing i want to show you guys it is these rings going on over here hopefully you can see them this white angle lens of mine cannot concentrate very well things, but I did get this yesterday. They were cheap, I promise. Don't think that I have a lot of money to waste on such things. Each of them was 1,200 shillings. 1,000. Yes, no surukumi rukumi. And uh, the main reason why I got more rings is because I'm a person who actually loves accessories, especially rings and all that. I'm hoping and wishing to start wearing more watches, but hopefully in the nearby future, even when I get some more money, you know. But anyway, I love rings. It's just because my sisters, when they come over, most of the time they take, they tend to take all my rings. We have switched to the short angle lens. The wide angle lens was not doing me justice. I usually use it when I'm in public and I need to get a wide coverage of images, but this short angle lens can concentrate the images very well. This is how the rings do look like. Uh, they are in size 18, size 18. I did get this black one with stores, uh, but ice diamond, you know, fake diamonds, if that makes sense. I did get the gold. I love gold accessories naturally. And also this gold striped with black. Each of them was 1,000, 1,000 Ugandan shillings. So if you have been along, you know, honey on my channel, especially for last year, 2022, you saw me a lot in this green jacket going on over here. This green jacket, it was a gift from one of you guys who lives in the, in the diaspora. I don't remember very well, is it in the United States or in the, you know, in the, in Europe, I'm not very sure, but what I know that she is a Ugandan and she supported my channel with 50,000 Ugandan shillings and specifically to go buy myself a new jacket. By then, around 2021, I believe uh, the mid of 2021, I used to wear a very a black jacket and in one of the vlogs I said, oh, when I get money, I want to get a green one if they look good and all that. And uh, she sent me actually 50,000. She told me, Tanya, go buy yourself that green jacket. So this is the green jacket I have been rocking for over now two years and see how old it has turned out. I just never wanted to give it out, but either I would have given it out, but I know how precious such things are to my heart. I've worn it for over two years. I still appreciate it. I'm going to take it to the tailor so that she can be able to fix this. I'm not saying that I can no longer wear it. As you see, it is actually something that is uh, you know, you can literally also wear and move out. But because it has those memories attached, I love it so, so much. 
but I say this time around when I get my payment from YouTube. I actually I was in town yesterday. If you never saw the vlog, go watch it. Uh, I went to the bank, withdrew some of my YouTube funds, went to the exchange, uh, how they call it, Forex bureaus, exchange the money. And the first thing I told myself, there are two things actually I wanted to buy myself. The first one was this jacket, and the second one was a glass cup, which I showed you guys in yesterday's vlog, or the vlog prior to this one. So, this is the jacket I did buy. Uh, it is also green. There is something, you know, I have something for green. Not like the deep, deep green, not the light green, but this, this deeper, deeper green going on over here. So this is what I did pick up. It actually resembles exactly this, but I think this one is worn out. That's why the color looks more faded. So I also remember very well, by the time I bought this, uh, when she sent me the money, it also looked like this. It's just because we are in it occasionally, maybe turned to this. But yeah, this is my new jacket. Guys, if you have realized, uh, people who used to watch me around 2020, 2019, I used to buy a lot of like sweaters and jackets, but I'm shifting into this minimalist kind of life where I actually buy one thing and it can last me for a good, good amount of time. And I think I did get that lesson from... Uh, which book was it? The Magic of Thinking Big. Because in The Magic of Thinking Big, the author talks about buying one thing which is of good quality and is going to last you a good amount of time than wasting your money on things that are going to get spoiled over time. Yes. So this was 23,000 Ugandan shillings. It's brand new. I love it. In the nearby future, when I start working in the hospital, definitely it's going to be over very, very big value and use yeah this is how it does look like i love it so so absolutely much hello guys once again this is me actually around 12 ish in the day i'm about to start cooking i'm going to be cooking let me show you real quick i'm going to be cooking some bananas going on over here and some peas these are actually a lot of peas as you see, I'm not going to be cooking all of them. They will be definitely for two days. You know, I think they can work for three days, but uh, that is it. I actually have this <laughs> measuring thing going on over here. I think I'm going to be cooking three cups of this. Three cups of this, I think it's about... Because this one, it has 125. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> Please concentrate. It has 125. So 125 times 100, no, plus 125 plus 125. That's what I am going to be cooking. Yes. I'm going to first of all uh, wash it very well. This is one. This is two. Even I think that two of them are enough, if I'm not mistaken. I think, guys, two of them are enough. Yes. I'm going to be chopping off camera and I'm going to be washing them at okay real quick. They are very few. I want to wash them. I'm going to boil the matoke for very, very few uh, minutes, something like 10 minutes only. Yeah. actually finally done with prepping everything as you see i have some carrots garlic onions green pepper and i also have tomatoes guys tomatoes are very expensive in uganda okay? and this is how the whole thing looks like i was trying to give it a good look and i went into the sun but anyway this is how the whole thing does look like this is my cooking oil going on over here. I'm going to be using this to measure 
and uh, I think I'm going to be using about 30 mils and 30 mils it is this container please concentrate show that people mm -hmm. uh, it's about this I'm going to be using this yeah the other thing I'd forgotten to show is that the matoke is done very well not well boiled or cooked but slightly because I'm going to be flying it again and uh, this is, these are the peas going on offer there I've already started like cooking or flying the food. I want to show you real quick what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some cumin. Uh, I'm going to be using some pilau masala. Uh, I have some black pepper, as you see. I have rosemary and reiko mochuzi mix. Yeah. So these are the only things I'm going to be using in the food. actually done with cooking this is how the whole food does look like as you see i'm leaving it on to some small small amount of fire so that the soup can just get thicker and thicker but everything is done right now as i wait uh, for everything to get crystal clear i'm going to just go in and do my utensils because i have a lot okay not a lot <laughs> as i expected but most of the time after cooking i just want to make sure that the kitchen area is super clean that's what i'm going to do Hopefully guys there I have the best lighting. This is how the meal looks like. Matoke, cow peas, flight, katogo. I feel so so amazing because I've been able to make this. I've wanted to make this for a very long time. And finally I'm going to be diving into this. And uh, I'm going to get some water, drinking water in this. And yeah.